goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. So, now that we are on the other side of Valentine's Day, I just want to keep love as a topic, just for another one day. And I want to ask you today, do you love doing what you do? Now, whatever particular online business you're looking to create, whatever it is, do you love doing it? Now, I want you to think about it for a moment and just ask yourself, if you don't love what you do, do you really think that you will be successful? You know, if you don't love what you do, you're probably not going to show up enough times. If you don't love what you do, you're not going to give it your best shot. You're not going to create your best content. You're not going to create your best products. You're not going to be here often enough to build an audience. And you will find too as well your audience will subconsciously pick up on a vibe that there's something not quite right about this person. Maybe I shouldn't be following them. I should be following this person over here. And when you think about it, if you are competing with someone else in a niche who loves what they do and you don't love what you do, you're always going to be behind them. Doesn't matter how much content you create or whatever it is, you're never going to stay up with that person. You're always going to fall further and further behind because they love doing what they do. And again, too, when it comes to love, think about your audience as well, too. Do you love your audience? Do you love the people that you're creating content for or writing books for or doing podcasts for? Do you love those people or do you see them just as a cash cow? Again, even that simple mindset change of just kind of developing some love for your audience will change what you do. You will think about them first before you create content today. You'll think about them first before you create your digital product because you want to give them the right product. You'll think about them first before you record a podcast episode because you're trying to give them the best podcast episode that you can or whatever content you're looking to create. If you think of them first you'll always do a better job. And when you think of your audience first, it takes you out of your head. Because when you're in your head, you know, you're self-conscious of what you're doing, you're self-conscious of what you're writing, you're self-conscious of what you're saying. But when you think of your audience instead, you're not thinking about you. You're just thinking to yourself, I'm going to give this person the best blog post that I can give them. I want to give them the best video that they have seen today. I want to give them a product that just blows their socks off. Because I want to give them the best that I can. Now when you consider for that for a moment. How many people online are actually doing that? Are really giving the best that they can? Loving what they do. And loving their audience. Again you'll probably find the majority of people are just in it for the money. Just in it for a quick cash grab. Grab the cash and just disappear. But do you really think you're going to be successful long term in that? You know just to show up, grab the money and disappear. I don't know about you, but I think I would like to be in a business that is, you know, long term, where I'm doing the same things regularly, things that I love doing. So think about that today, whatever you're doing in your business, and just ask yourself, do I love doing this? Because if you don't love doing it, what's the point in doing it? You know, for a lot of us who have come online, it's probably because we had, you know, nine to five crappy jobs where we're underpaid. So do you want to do you want to take, you know, that crappy job? and transfer it online and actually work in an online job that is probably underpaying you as well and is also a job that you detest would you not think you would be better building a business that you enjoy that you like showing up again there will be days when you're up there will be days when you're down but you know on the majority of days can you look back and say well you know i've enjoyed my journey so far i have enjoyed creating all this content i've enjoyed being here doing whatever i'm doing right now And if you haven't, well then maybe it's time to maybe look at doing something else. And again too, maybe if you have maybe, you know, lost yourself a little bit, gone a little bit astray, or maybe just your business is just a little bit dull at the moment. Is it because you're looking at your business from your point of view? When's the last time you thought of your audience? 
When's the last time you thought of maybe developing some love for them? Giving them more of what they need? Because you will find that, as I said, it will get you out of your head. You'll probably create better content today. You'll probably make better products. You will show up more often. There'll be more of you in your content because you're putting more of yourself in here because you are trying to help your audience because you love your audience. Now that might sound a little bit tacky and it might seem maybe a little bit uncomfortable at the start. But the more you kind of, you know, think along those lines, you will develop a love for the people that you show up to do and you'll find that you love doing what you do. So if you don't love what you do, what's the point in doing it? Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Discover how to finally make money while you sleep. Click on the link in the show notes now for your free copy of Digital Cash. Thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next episode.